Ron Beltran, Dave Urich, back from Husky Field. Back at Husky Stadium. Gorgeous stadium here in Florence. Third and nine for the Huskies. At the beat digger 21-yard line. Tied at seven with 2.18 to go in the opening round of the 2009-2A playoffs. Under center is Heath Benker. Daxon and I and Benker on the give right up the middle. And that's a gain of a yard to the 20. To Tyler Farrell was it Alexander. was Farrell as the middle of the defense ate him up, including Levi Brenneman. It'll be fourth down and eight. Now this could set up a 37-yard field goal for Warren Schleiser as Florence calls their final timeout. Boy, critical decision here. Yep, I think they were thinking Brush was going to outsmart themselves on that play and forget about that dive off that option, but it sure didn't fool Brenneman. He wrapped him up and and, uh, ensured that Florence didn't get the first down on that play. Hey, what a game this has been, huh? That's been great. I'll tell you what, it's just been a fight. It's amazing how the halves change. You know, the, the halves are basically identical. It's just that the other team played the other one's role in the second exactly. half. Exactly. So. so a minute 59 to go. Florence has used up two of their three timeouts. The bead diggers have all three. Now the wind is at Florence's back. But, and there's the kicker, Slicer. Yep. The ball's in the middle of the field. The ball is in the middle of the field. So, you know, if he, it's not like he has to, you know, kick a hard one to the right or to the left. It'll be interesting to see if they try to kick it right here and give themselves an opportunity for another one in case there's a bad snap. It would be about a 37-yard field goal. And a Schleicher out there. I don't see him out there. They're going to go for it on fourth and eight from the 20. The beat diggers only need to make one play on defense. On fourth and eight from the 20, here is Benker, rolling to his left, wants to throw, gets out of a tackle, looking to throw, take off with the football, and he's knocked out of bounds by Rosenbrock at around the 17-yard line. The feet diggers take over. Beautiful play there. That time I, I was a little worried because it seemed like our defensive end on this side, he kind of took that hard charge, and something our defensive ends hadn't been doing was really going after Banker until our banker until after he made his choice um, to run the football or throw it. But uh, this time we took an inside release. It allowed Banker to get to the outside. He took off running, but Rosenbrock flew up there and pushed him out of bounds. He needed eight yards. He officially got four to the 16. Now what do the beat diggers do with a minute 52 to go in the game? Deadlocked at seven with three timeouts, but at their own 16-yard line, you have to stay conservative at this point because Florence can only stop the clock once on first and ten. Garcia is going to roll to his left. He's going to take off with the football, and he's going to be hit in the backfield, and he's down at around the 10. Down at the 10-yard line as Bruhel made the play. That'll be a loss of around six yards. Now Florence has to stop the clock. Let's see if they will at any point. I mean, the beat diggers, I think, at this point have no choice but to take it to overtime. You know, that time they tried to run that bootleg over to the left side, so Garcia was going to have to throw across his body to the to the wrong side, really, against his power. And with his bad ankle, it was going to be kind of a tough throw for him. But you got to give the, the Florence linebackers credit. Boy, they flew up there, and, and there was plenty of guys there to make the tackle. Kukas is now the quarterback, second down and 16 for the 10. In motion is Garcia to the right. He's got the head up, and he wants to throw the football. Lost it up towards the right side. Anson is out there, and the pass is broken up nicely. At around the 42-yard line by Kyle King on that halfback pass from a quarterback. And this is dangerous because you have not elected to take it to overtime. If Florence stops you on this third and 16, they're going to have plenty of time here. They'll take the timeout if the beat diggers run the football. They might not even need to take the timeout if the beat diggers throw an incomplete pass or go out of bounds. And Florence could win the game in regulation. What scares you, it forces you into a punting situation where you have to get a great snap and a punt without getting a block, and Florence has had some pressure on her punter today. Kukas is the quarterback again on third and 16, and there's the give right up the middle, and a little hole is closed quickly, even though Seawald gets to around the 16-yard line, picks up six yards in the play, or check that, was that Connor Weiser, and it was, and with 52 seconds to go, with 52 seconds to go, Florence takes their final timeout. And wow, I mean, now you put it on your defense once again. The beat diggers had the opportunity, quite frankly, to take the game into overtime. And now you take the risk. You don't get the first down. You throw it on second down. 
And C.J. Kukas now needs an outstanding punt. We need a great snap first. And that's the scary thing at the high school level is just getting a decent a decent snap and make sure everybody gets the, the blocks they need to prevent the, the punt from getting blocked. And the bead diggers inside their own 20-yard line. Lost six on a bootleg through an incomplete pass on a halfback pass and then a six-yard gain there by Weiser. Northeastern Colorado's hometown savings and loan with locations in Brush and Fort Morgan is equitable savings and loan. So C.J. Kukas standing at his own two-yard line. Kyle King will receive it for Florence, but he's going to be in beat digger territory with 54 seconds to go. They put two more seconds back on the clock. He's actually standing at the 50. If special teams was ever important this season, it's on this play. And Florence is going to come with a rush. There's the snap, and Kukas gets it off. A wobbly kick towards the middle of the field. It bounces the 43-yard line. It takes a beat digger roll, and it continues to roll towards the 48 and down by the beat diggers with 43.4 seconds to go. Now, if the beat diggers can just stop Florence in a couple of plays, they've got no timeouts. And they elected not to go for a 37-yard field goal, so you would imagine, and they're going to mark it at the 49, just inside the beat digger 49, that they're going end zone, and unless it's maybe a 20 to 25 yard field goal, they won't go for three. Right, you know they're thinking they got to get the ball down the field quick, so you got to look for some deep passes here. First and ten for Florence at the beat digger 49 yard line, tied at seven, 43.4 seconds to go. Shotgun for Banker, rolling to his left, looking to throw deep over the middle. The pass intercepted. It's intercepted by Hunter at the 35 to the 40 along the left sideline to the 50. He's got block down the sideline to the 30. Banker with a couple of beats. And down is Kyle Hefner, that is, inside the 25 to the 21. Holy Mohungus. Kyle Hefner with a huge interception. Unofficially return of 44 yards with 29.9 seconds to go in the game. Now, don't forget, Jesus Cardenas can kick it. He can kick it from there. He can make that field goal from there. So, right now, if Brush can manage the clock and pick up a few more yards, if they can't get it into the end zone, they've got a legitimate shot with the field goal here. Keep in mind, the bait diggers have all three timeouts. They do not have to throw the football. Kyle Hefner was in the middle of the field, and he picked off the pass on first and 10 from the 21. Garcia will hand it off to Weiser, breaks a tackle with the line of scrimmage. He dives to around 19, and a timeout bait diggers. Look like Michael North made the tackle. They'll give him about three, just shy of the 18. It'll be second down and seven. And Hefner was just standing in the middle of the field, just cutting off that passing lane. And what a huge play. I thought for one second he might go all the way, but Banker was out there trying to cut off Hefner and did a good job of sealing the play. So the rest of the Florence offenders turned defenders to make the tackle. 23.6 seconds to go. Your American Family Insurance agent located at 115 South Main Street in Fort Morgan is the Stanley T. Wolf Agency, Incorporated. Now with two timeouts to go, 23.6 seconds, do you go to the passing game at all? I don't know. The ball's in the middle of the field. If they don't make it, it'll be spotted back in the middle of the field. So maybe you do take a couple shots at the end zone. It would be a 35-yarder from here for Jesus Cardenas, but the wind is against him. And the wind has really picked up here in the fourth quarter. The receiver to the left is Shea Hansen. Over to the right is C.J. Kukas on second down and seven from the 18. And there is a gift to Weiser. He breaks out of a tackle, spins to around the 15-yard line before he's brought down. It's a gain of close to three. It'll be third down and a long four. 